Thou, Oluwe again, nuggets of wisdom. My title today, straightforward, it is not happening to you, it is happening for you. Let's talk about it. Welcome back. Why if it's like, share, hit the notification bell for new content. Help a brother out. Hit that subscription button. I want you to let banter back and forth. I need your comments. Likes are free. So my brothers, hit that like button so we can share this message for other folks on YouTube. My brothers, it is not happening to you, it is happening for you. Man, I can I can have a litany of things I can discuss on this. And this is a quick backstory. I was talking to my mom today. My mom is a single parent. Shout out to mom. She raised five of us. I don't know how she did it. Five of us. And mom knew where everybody was. Mom knew everybody's move. Mom knew what was happening to us. So we were discussing today, myself and mom, and she was explaining, we were looking at things that we we went through as kids and, and when we were coming up. And we really did not understand. It was not a time that was fun for us. And a lot of people don't like talking about their family, but basically my dad left us when we were younger for my mom to take care of us. So I'm shout out to single moms who are just doing it. I have, man, I, just give, my, I, I give my hands up to you. If you're doing it, you're doing it courageously. You're doing it with prayer. Shout out to you. This was the hardest thing to do. We look back at so many scenarios in our life. So many things that has happened. And at the time that it was happening, we even had no time to breathe. We had no time to even sit down, analyze, see what's going on. Why is this happening? What's the problem? Why is it happening? There was no time to do that. We just had to get on with what was going on. We had to get on with the business. There was no time to sit down, you know what people are smell. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no coffee to smell. We were just on it. Then fast forward 20, 30 years later, and we look back. It didn't happen to us. It happened for a reason. It happened. It didn't make sense when it was happening. But now it's all come together. Now that scripture that says Romans 8.20, all things work together for good for those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose. That is so true. If you look at the world, the secular world says it's happening for a reason. Yeah, okay, they may have a reason, but folks don't really tell you at the time these things are happening, sometimes it makes no sense at all. You would think I'm 20, I'm 30, I'm supposed to get, I have to be at this particular stage in my life. My, according to the statistics, according to the numbers, I have to be doing this, but this was not happening. I have to, I, I, I could, I, I, I supposed to be married by now. I supposed to hit my million by now. It didn't happen to you, it happened for you. There was a reason why those things were happening, especially for those who are called according to his name. And if you are called to according to his name, your agenda is not everybody's agenda. Who you are, whose you are, are not, is, is not going to line up. This happened to me. My life has never lined up with all my, all my peers. Is never as much as I want to try and think it's going to line up. He never. I don't do the same thing. It's the same time everybody is doing it, right? Things kind of a little slow, and I I did go to a point whereby I questioned, and we are just human. Oh, this person has done this at this particular time. That person did this particular time. Why why not me? Why is this not happening to me? It didn't happen to you. It happened for you. The, you, you you are being set up for you to be lifted up. 
let's let me give you some backstory. I have a couple of case story case studies here that I pulled from the word from the Bible, and I want to let you know that some things that happen are orchestrated, are set up for you to actually be set apart, be consecrated for the things that need to be done in your own life. Let's go to the first book of Samuel. The first chapter, I'm going to read from verse 2 to verse 6. And Ekanan, he had two wives. The name of the one was Hannah. The name of the other was Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. And this man went up up his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Ophina and Phineas, the priest of the Lord, were there. And when the time was, was that Ekana offered, he gave Penina his wife and to all her sons and her daughters portions. But to Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah. Listen to this. But the Lord has shut up her womb. Let me, for you Bible, non-Bible readers, it's a man called Ekana, had two wives, don't do that today. I can't handle one woman, so handling two is going to be a problem. But in this story, he had two wives, right? One was Hannah, one was Penina. One had children, the other one didn't have children. And you would think, yeah, I'm a woman. She, Hannah was a woman. I'm supposed to be having children by now. So in this world here, Hannah had no fertility problems. Hannah had no issues at all. But it was, it, 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 but the Bible says here in verse 5, but the Lord had shut up her womb. I think some areas in your life that those have been shut to redirect you. Are there been areas in your life that is not happening to you, but it's happening for you? Are, are there areas in your life that you don't really understand that doesn't actually make any sense? This is what's happening here. This is what's happening here. There were areas, there are things that were, I'm supposed to be further along by where I am right now. I'm supposed to have that money right now. I'm supposed to have that job right now. I'm supposed to have that business right now. I'm supposed to this that at this age I should be doing X, Y, Z. I can go on and on. Let's let's bring it to the circular. I think it, it, I think it was Samuel L. Jackson probably had his real movie breakout in his fifties. I can name a whole lot of people. So what happened from zero to when it was 20, 30, 40, 50? When your time is here to shine. Everybody who has gone before you, the Bible says, you shall overtake them. And if you look at Sam Erickson's um, career, there was a time they, they named him the $6 million man. So that means every move he does, he makes between six to $10 million. That's just on, on the up. So how many of us, you imagine maybe he quit 20, 30 years ago and say, you know, this thing is not for me. I'm done. But when they needed him at the right time, <laughs> a role was written for him to be who he is and we all know who he is today. The same thing happens to us in our lives. And the Bible actually says it in so many ways. God shot the womb of Hannah. I don't want to bother the story because he wanted to bring Samuel forth. Samuel was a prophet. And if you're going to keep on going, he had to be, he can't just be any old child. There has to be a story in bringing Samuel through. Let's give you another case story very quickly. I don't want to be for you too long. Genesis chapter 50. I'm going to type it in here so you guys can see it one second. Genesis. Genesis. Okay. Let's go here. And 
chapter 50. Okay. It's, it's a long story. But I'm not going to read everything. It was just the story of Joseph. His brother hated him because he had dreams. They didn't know. They didn't they didn't like his dreams. But there was saying that so, there was another saying before I jump into this. Say not all some not all storms come to disrupt, disrupt you. Some storms come to clear the path. I like that so much because I've happened to, I've had some things in my life, it didn't make any sense why it happened the way it happened. By this time, that thing should have happened. So don't let me boil. Let's go to this, this very quickly. So like I'm gonna read from verse 17. Genesis 15, 17, 20. So so shall you say unto Joseph. Let me read another version. It is too King James. King James is too much. So let's leave here. New King James. One second, guys. I gonna so it's just more modern day English that makes it more clearer to folks. So, verse 17. Thus you shall say to Joseph, I beg you, please forgive me the testimonies of your brothers and their sin, for they did evil to you. Now, now please forgive me the testimonies of the servants of the God of your father. And Joseph wept and they spoke to him. Then his then his brothers all also went and fell down before his face, and they said, Behold, we are your servants. And Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid, for I am in the place of God. But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, in order to bring it about, as in, as in this day, to save many people alive. There are things that are absolutely negative that happen to you. I'm a living witness. The absolute things that negative that happen to you. And it seems like you're going around in circles over and over and over and over again. But at some point when you now have that breakthrough or you have you get on the other side of it, you know that so all these things was not happening to me, they happened for me. Look at what she said here. But as you meant it for evil, you thought you were doing this to me. You thought you were doing this to set me up. You thought you were doing this to, to malign my name. But God meant it for good in order to bring it about this day. Every negative thing that's been spoken, done against you in some cases, his, you're gonna, they, you're gonna end up, just they became the savior. He became the people who's gonna actually help them out. Now some people, they're just ignorant. They can't see beyond, but some of these people are pushing you to your destiny. I don't get better by people patting you in the back. You get better when people antagonize you. You don't get better by, by everybody. I don't mean that it's fun because it's not. But it happened, it didn't happen to you. It happened for you. It happened for you to have a, to have a story. It happened for you to have a season of understanding. My brothers, I want to encourage you today that when you look at your life, especially if you think you're walking, you're walking on the right path, especially you know you're a law abiding citizen, especially you're doing you're doing your level best to do your best and to make things work. I come to tell you, it is not happening to you. 
is happening for you and they meant it for evil. Whoever meant it for evil or that was a setup. So many things that even got orchestrated. Look at um, Psalm of 1 to 6. There was no antagonistic, but the Bible said here, God shot the womb of Hannah. She had no fertility problems. But God was about to bring Samuel forth. Samuel was a Nazarene. Samuel had to be set apart. And sometimes that's what actually happens to you. I'm going to give three three quotes before I go, before I leave. One thing that happens when things are happening to you, you have to be in the right spiritual mindset for that to happen, for you to understand what's going on. Number one, the things that happen that when you are in between, when you are the person, you are the main actor in this story, number one thing that happens to you becomes specific about what you believe in. I've come too far. I can't go through this anymore. I need this to happen. In the area of Samuel, he said, in, in, if you look at the book of Samuel, she said, I need a son. In the Bible, because it's the king, call it a man child. Number two thing she said, I need it for him to consecrate. He's going to be somebody set apart. I can go through this suffering and just be ordinary. I can't do that. I cannot be ordinary anymore. Number three thing you, uh, at this your, your, your happening to you, happening, happening for you happens is that you now become extremely focused on where you're going. At least that's been my that's been my experience. That's been my experience. And specific, right? And focused where I'm going then you have to set yourself apart you consecrate yourself and that just that's not just even just spiritual you want to do anything in the in the world you want to be the best thing you want to do you cannot be in the midst of the crowd you have to set yourself apart my brothers and sisters man I just want to give this few gems with you whatever you're doing it is not happening to you. It's happening for you. God bless you. Nuggets of wisdom. I'm out. <laughs>